What's going on guys, this is Gene Jensen and we're gonna talk about what was inside my black pack for my last KBF tournament. So the first thing is my terminal box. It's just a little large fly box is what it is. Um, not really expensive. I think it ran about $16, $17. But uh, it holds all my terminal tackle. Not a lot of it, so I do a lot of refilling at the end of the day. But I have my flipping weights. I have uh, Nico stuff. I've got drop shot stuff. Light wire EWGs, which is what I use during the tournament. Um, treble hooks, wacky hooks, Ned rigs. Goes on down to my to my uh, my tungsten weights, my mojo weights, which is what I used in the tournament, drop shot, and so on. So pretty much, what I can do uh, with this box is just about anything that I have confidence in. It doesn't have all the little weird oddball stuff that I have in my bigger terminal box, but this is great for a kite. Absolutely, it's the perfect size. Uh, just digging through soft plastics. These are the black trick worms that I use. Zoom trick worms. Um, on the on the mojo rig and that's what I started catching fish on and remember I was throwing it when the water got slick I'd throw it and when it was the wind was blowing I'd throw a reaction bait now my this is all my leader material you guys know when I use a, a, a spinning rod I always have a braid on so I have the the finesse this is the Seaguar finesse 100% fluorocarbon um, it's what I use for my for my leaders uh, and then some extra line just in case. I think this is 15 pound cigar and this is 20 pound actually. It's 20 pound a Braze X that I put on a smack back, smack down spool. And I keep all that in this little Plano um, line keeper or line box. This is just in case uh, I blow up an entire spool in of uh, on one of my bait casters. This is the new cigar 600 yards yard in Vizex and it's 15 pound test and if I blow up a, a bait caster, you know, bad backlash or anything happens to the line, I always have this close by so I can just put another spool of, uh, of line on so I don't have to worry about just ditching that rod and going with something else. Um, something I threw in there just in case, in case I got into a shad spawn is this, uh, this is actually the new 13 uh, fishing dual pitch 94 uh, top water. And I had those in my truck and I just pulled one out of the bag and threw it in the box just in case I got into some shad spawn, which I didn't. <laughs> All right, so tools, very simple, split ring pliers, pocket knockers. If you guys don't know what these are, if you get your crankbait stuck down in a, in a, um, in a bush or anything else, you can drop these things down your line and it'll, it'll knock your lure loose. Um, this is what I use to uh, um, to peg stuff, peg my uh, my trailer hooks on my spinner baits and stuff like that. I'll talk about this in a different video because this is a really really cool tool. All right, so one of the things I do is in my truck is all of my tackle. I mean everything that goes in my big boat, and when I go for a kayak tournament or even a kayak trip, I have all my tackle in there. But I don't want to put it all in the kayak. There's just no room. So I have uh, these 3600 boxes that I literally refill every single time I go out. And um, I just take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of the confidence baits I have and I put in here. So the first one is kind of my jig and flipping box. I have all rage bugs because I'm 99.9% .9 of the time, this is what I end up tying on is, is a rage bug. Um, but I have different jig heads. This is a creeper from Greenfish Tackle. This is a... Um, these are shaky heads, and I can't remember who makes these, but these are pretty good shaky heads. I think they're from, um, oh gosh, can't remember. <laughs> anyway, so we got uh, uh, Strike King uh, swinging jig heads, or structure heads, whatever they call them. And then jigs. Not very many, I just had a few, but these are jigs. These are uh, the jigs that I helped design for a company. And then uh, that's it, and then rattles for my jigs and stuff like that. But that always gets refilled like at the end of the day. Now, my crankbait box. These are my medium to deep diving crankbaits. These are just in case. This time of the year I didn't expect to fish them, but if I found like a ledge or something with fish down at 12 to 15 feet deep, 16 feet, which Ron Champion, that's how he ended up coming in second in the tournament, was that he, uh, he found some deeper fish. 
I have my uh, my XDs. So I got six XDs, five XDs, threes, and then uh, a lipless crankbait that got in there probably because I, uh, I untied it and threw it in there um, and forgot that it was in there because I've got another lipless in another box. But deep diving crankbaits, swim baits, and again there's a square bill that's, uh, that's kind of found its way in here. That's what happens during a tournament. You just find a place to put it and drop it. But I've got my bull shads. Um, I got my Savage Gear Shine Glider, which really is a great bait for searching for fish. Bass don't always hit them, but they will follow them all the way to your boat, so you'll be able to locate where the big bass are. And, I, and that's really how I found where my big fish spot was. Um, and just more gliders, more Shine Gliders. Um, Savage Gear makes, a, makes really, really good swim baits, so that's kind of what I did, and I've always fished the Bull Shad. Um, love them, absolutely love them jump on this one. This is the other one. This is where all my lipless crankbaits are, my top water and stuff like that. I have another 13 fishing dual pitch in there, but I have the little tiny bull shads. Um, these are not the new ones that just came out. These are actually made by Mike Buca. So these are, these are the, uh, the four inch square bills. Again, just in case there is a, uh, a shad spawn. And uh, as you can see, this lipless crankbait got really worn out during that tournament. So that was a brand new one when I started. And that's what I ended up catching a lot of those fish on. And last but not least, I love these little Plano waterproof boxes. They're abs they're awesome. But my chatter baits, I've got um, this was I don't know why I bought this, but this is a this is an ounce and a quarter um, jackhammer, and I think I bought it just in case I had to go really deep with a jackhammer. As you can see, I didn't use it. But jackhammers, uh, more shaky heads. And uh, this is the Strike King uh, Thunder Cricket. I was trying those out for the first time. Spinner baits. This is a, a custom spinner bait that I went over and had tied by my buddies at Greenfish Tackle. Um, just went by. I said, "Hey, look, Will. I need a, a bluegill colored crank or spinner bait." And he tied me one up. And then I've got swim jigs, which I thought were going to come into play, and I really did put a lot of time into which swim jigs I wanted to use. So, but uh, those are the main boxes. Um, and that's about it. On the side, this is an empty bag, but this is where I keep my JJ's Magic um, and uh, and extra odds and ends like a towel and stuff like that. But this is a nice little box. Ooh, it smells like garlic. But uh, anyway, and that's my black pack. That's what I had in for the tournament. Like I said, I ended up coming in fourth, and then uh, with a technical difficulty, we had I ended up coming in third. So uh, with 91 and I think 91 and a quarter inches of what I caught, I caught 54 fish that day uh, without moving the boat. It was an awesome day. I had a mega school up underneath the kayak and I just sat there and I just whacked them all day long. So if you haven't seen that video, go back and look at it. Um, and you can pick up all this stuff at, uh, at fishusa.com. It's an absolute great store. It's where I'm sitting right now in the pro shop. Um, and uh, I got their staff filming me for the first time. I've actually got a photographer, which is pretty cool. But like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water. Go ahead and catch some fish and have a great day. We'll see you.